Eastern Suburbs line began construction in 1948, but was not completed until 1979, over 30 years later. Four platforms were originally planned, 24 through to 27. However, only platforms 24 and 25 were ever built. Evidence of platforms 26 and 27 still exist in the elevator down to platforms 24 and 25, but just like the unused platforms, the button remains inactive. James Station was originally built in 1928 and planned with four platforms in mind. However, only two were ever built. You can still see, just behind me, one of the two tunnel portals where the trains were meant to go through, and another one just over there, with the tracks meant to be running down along through here with the two island platforms on either side of me. That means we still have a lot of tunneling through St. James Station that was never used, that has in fact been used for movies such as the Matrix movies um, or the Australian horror film, The Tunnel. The original plan for St. James was that these two tracks would have a western suburbs line going underneath Parramatta Road and then an eastern suburbs line uh, heading towards Bondi Junction. Wynyard Station originally had six platforms. Today it has four, platforms three and four, and also platforms five and six. Now to find the original platforms one and two, we need to exit the station and go up a set of escalators. Here we are at the original platforms one and two of Wynyard Station. It no longer looks like platforms one and two. It's now actually a car park but it was converted into that car park after being used for trams that used to cross the eastern two lanes of the bridge which would terminate here at Wynyard Station where passengers could get off and change to trains. In fact, you can still see what the tunnels used to look like. Just through here is the iconic archway of Sydney's underground railway tunnels through which the trams and then hopefully later trains out to the northern beaches would have run. When the Eastern Suburbs Line was first built, there was plans for an additional station at Wallara. That station was never built, but a cutting still exists, and you actually pass through it between Edgecliff Station and Bondi Junction Station. And here is the original site of the Wallara Station. The platform was going to be in the middle. It's all opened up, but it was never built. Prior to the completion of the Sydney Harbour Bridge in 1932, the North Shore Line used to terminate at Milston's Point where passengers would get off their trains and then board a ferry to go into the city. The only thing is, that Milston's Point station was not this one, it was a little bit further down, close to the harbour. The original site of Milston's Point station was actually right here where the current Milston's Point pool is, just adjacent to Luna Park. The the decision to have it here was so that it would be next to the ferry wall. So North Shoreline passengers would get off their train here at Milsons Point Station and then walk right across over here to Milsons Point Ferry Wharf and board a ferry to go to Circular Quay. When the current St. Leonard Station opened in the year 2000, it was built with two island platforms. The idea was to extend it out to have four separate plat platforms with four separate tracks. You can still see where one of the tracks was meant to be, just over here, which was the location for platform number one. That's no longer going to happen because the Sydney Metro plan is for an underground station just a little bit further out at Crow's Nest, but it does explain why St. Leonard's, lacking a platform one and a platform four, only has platforms two and platform three.